What's up, trombone players? I wanted to go on here and really share with you a way that we can approach hitting the upper register of the trombone. So a lot of the times people will talk about scales, 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 do scales to get the range together, whatever. And what I discovered is that music doesn't necessarily happen in scales. Music happens in real melodic content. And one of the ways that you can really expedite your ability to achieve that upper register is to visualize a melody in your mind. And when you visualize that melody in your mind and you shoot for those notes that are in the upper register with that melody, that allows for the range to naturally happen in a way that scales might necessarily not be able to. Sometimes scales were fighting, okay? So one of the ways you could do this is you could take a recognizable melody that you have, like let's just take like some somewhere over the rainbow, okay? And you got like somewhere over the rainbow. And like normally, you know, we can run the scale up. Let's say we're in C and we just run it up. Listen. Okay? And we just did a C major scale. But what about if we were to take a melody in our mind and that melody we work on the melody instead of the scale. Okay, so the melody was in the mind. And what I discovered is if a melody is in your mind, sometimes it will allow you to hit the upper range much easier than if you were to just focus on scales. Obviously, scales are good and everything, but what we want to do is we want to mix it up. We can mix it up. So start thinking about what is a melody that you like, what melodies are something that you have in your mind that's memorized, and play them in the different keys, and then just shoot for those notes in your mind and just imagine they're going to come out. And that, what I discovered, will allow the range to be much easier instead of just constantly focusing on scales. Does that make sense? Give me a five in the chat if that makes sense. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Awesome. Okay, cool. So, yeah, that's it. So, think of fam famous songs you got, right? Go through the different keys with the uh, with the melody in your mind, and that one was just somewhere over the rainbow. I could have chose any tune, okay, and try that out, and that should help you get more comfortable with the range, because then it's all about the music. It's all about the music as opposed to being all about an exercise or being all about just playing scales. And when it becomes about the music, we don't think that those notes are high, because all we hear is the melody. And the melody becomes more important than the range. A lot of the times, if you're just thinking scales and trying to get your range, you're thinking range, you're thinking scales, you're thinking it's challenging. But if you just think about melody, it becomes about the music. And when it becomes about the music, it becomes more effortlessly when you play. Hopefully that is helpful. By the way, my new album comes out. You can actually grab a copy today just for my subscribers. I'm going to give a link for that in the chat in the description, and you can check out that project. It was fun. It took about a year of work, and we're excited to release it finally. So it's uh, music.com or music.com slash album if you want to get the link that way, or you can just click the link here. We're good. All right, this is Paul the Trombonist. I appreciate you so much. Uh, don't forget to like, you know, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that everyone talks about. Uh, what's up, Brandon, Arnie, Kozka, Will, Javado, Senora, Brandon? What's up? I see you all. I see everyone. Any other questions? Do we have any questions before we sign off here today? We good? 
Is everyone cool? Does that make sense? Awesome. Awesome. That's great. I'll uh, leave you with this. Yeah, it all takes time, Will. But if you just do it little by little each day, it will get better. Just be consistent. Just be consistent and record yourself and listen back on the recordings and just don't stop. If you keep doing it, you're going to get it. Okay? But it, it all takes time. That's one of the beautiful things about music. It doesn't happen overnight. It's not... One of the things I love about music is it's honest. It's very apparent the work someone has put into their craft. You can't, by chance, have an ability with music. It's not like some of those other avenues in life. It's very obvious the work someone puts in, okay? And that's what's rewarding, though, is the more work you put into it, the more you get back. I don't know anything else in life that gives you back what music does. It's pretty fair. It's fair in the sense that the more you put into it, the more it gives back to you. And not only gives back to you, gives back to other people in your life that are impacted by what comes out of you. And that's even more powerful. And once it comes, once it becomes about other people and enhancing other lives around you, you actually become a better musician. If it's just about yourself, you will not grow. But if it, you may grow a little bit. There's some people that have those egos in music. But once it becomes about other people, those are the best musicians. Those are the best musicians. Because they're the ones that truly connect with the audience. Does that make sense? Awesome. So don't forget to comment on this video. Like it. So other people that are interested in this information, they can get it too. And don't forget to subscribe. Let me know other videos you want to hear about in the future. Go ahead and comment down below and uh, let us know what other videos you want to hear in the future. And I do appreciate you all so much. And that is right. That's right. All right. It's Paul the Trombonist signing off.